Good evening, Wizzy Boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a video that I wasn't planning on making, but I wanted to post today, and the video that I was making had to be put on hold because, well, y'all know I said I wanted to review Princess Roxy, right? Yeah, she had water damage, so she was covered in mold. So, um, been taking care of that. I would have made a video out of it, but I was honestly, like, so panicked over it, and I was like, ew, this is disgusting. So I just have been chronicling it on my Instagram story. You can see that in the description below. It's in the highlight called Princess Roxy. But yeah, today we are going to be discussing some more toys I would never buy. Because, I don't know, you guys seem to like that video for some reason. There were people who were mad about it, but like, whatever. <laughs> so, let's get right into it, because I've already got a couple. We're going to start this video off in a very ironic way by me admitting that I have never had any interest in these poopsie toys. Um, the only reason this is ironic is because Rainbow High was a, like, spin-off of Poopsie. They took those Rainbow Girls, which were a part of this line, and then they made high school versions of them, and finally abandoned the slime shitting thing. I don't get why so many children's toys deal with shit. Like, why would you want to play with something that your toy is supposed to shit out? Like, you guys have seen the giant crapping unicorn, right? <laughs> You've probably seen the video with Critical. <laughs> yeah, that's like my favorite video. It was one of my favorite videos, but... Yeah, basically, I always thought these toys looked kind of creepy. They definitely toned down the creepiness, and they made Rainbow High look significantly better. It's a major step up from what it branched off of. I still find it very hard to believe that this is the brand that Rainbow High was a spinoff of. Look, see, they're even wearing the sparkle shirts, like... <laughs> it's legitimately... It doesn't make any sense to me. I can't comprehend that this spawned Rainbow High, a very high-quality doll line. Like, Rainbow High is gorgeous, and then its predecessor is this. <laughs> But that just goes to show that MGA is capable of taking a horrible thing and making it better. And while Rainbow High still doesn't have the diversity that it should, they seem to be working on it, I guess. I don't know. Am I a Rainbow High apologist for saying that? Am I gonna get cancelled? No, I'm fine. But, um, yeah. I do not like Poopsie. Toy number two that I would never buy is Barbie Color Reveal. But Lizzie, haven't you talked about this before? Shut up, I'm getting to it. So, the only reason I feel like I'm able to include this twice is both because I still want to drink the water. You guys, you guys deserve to know that. I'm not ashamed to admit it either. I watched Trixie Mattel open these, and she wanted to drink the water too. <laughs> you know, actually, I think she might have. I don't know. Point is that we all want to drink the water. But I feel like I can include these because they added small ones. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> they added, like, a Kelly version, if that's her name. It just says Reveal Doll. I don't know. But point is, they are, they're still making these. I've never seen these ones, actually. No, wait, yes I have. Trixie Mattel had them in the video. <laughs> The only reason I've got color reveal on the mind is because I, like, just rewatched that video. Yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like these are a really weird concept for a doll. Especially because they're not very high quality, you know? I feel like if any other brand had done this concept, they would have found a way to make it actually feel more rewarding, you know? Like, the thing with surprise toys is that everybody wants to make them. Everybody wants to make a surprise toy. That's why Mattel finally got in on it by making a Barbie surprise toy. And they went about it in an interesting way. Like, I like the concept here. But I just feel like they didn't execute it the best th way that they could have because they got, like, molded on clothes. And I just feel like that really kills the doll. There's nothing wrong with the hair being molded on. I think that's fine. Though, it feels like they should have just, like, gone for a full-on wig, maybe. I know that they did that with these ones. These ones have full wigs. But, like, with the little ones, 
<laughs> oh my god. With the Kellys, I mean. It's just like a ponytail attachment. I feel like that's a little very lazy. I don't think it's a stretch to call modern Barbie lazy. I'm pretty sure like everyone would agree. Also, I see that the powder doesn't usually come off totally. You have to wipe some of it off. But either way, that water looks like that water looks tasty. Looks scrumptious. Scrump diddly umptious. <laughs> Why did I just say that? I sound like Ned Flanders, God. Um so yeah, we're just gonna move on before I say some other old timey. <clears throat> I have a cough and I'm trying so hard not to cough right now. When will it be socially acceptable to cough again? Anyway, let's let's go to toy three because I, I got more. So for toy number three, this one also shouldn't be a surprise, but I would never go out of my way to buy these ugly things. I do not like LOL surprise pets. I think they look so weird and they definitely just feel like a cash grab. You know, like the LOL dolls are cute. The the little tiny babies are a little pointless because you can't really make them wear stuff. Their f little tiny feet are too small to even come in the go in the shoes that they come with. It's like, you know. But like when it comes to these, these just feel like a soulless cash grab, kind of like the D four DJ game, which is a total clone of Bandori. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you're lucky. If you do, I hate being in Gotcha Hell too. So um. Yeah, these just really feel like some sort of soulless, just, they want, they wanted the monies, you know? Like, I see, like, a midnight pet over there with some bat wings, and that one, that one looks okay. But for the most part, I feel like these come across looking really weird, especially because they've got hair. They have the same hairstyle as the tot that they're meant to go with, and it's just, I don't know. Whenever I see these at the store, though... I get so annoyed because, like, from behind, it looks like a normal LOL ball. But then I turn it around and I see that the only thing left in the clearance section is one of these things. And I'm not surprised because why would you buy these? Why would you go out of your way to buy these? I just can't comprehend someone actually enjoying these. I know that there's fans of them out there and they're probably going to be all mad in the comments. Like, oh, how dare you not like this thing that I like? Like, I don't know you personally, dude. So, I wouldn't say... I wouldn't talk trash about these things to someone who actually likes them, but if you click on a video called Top 5 Toys I Never Buy and then get offended by what's on the list, I feel like that's on you. I don't know. <laughs> that went a little off topic, but, you know, I just don't like the vibe these things have. There are rancid vibes coming from these, and I do not appreciate them. So Toy 4 might seem a little random, but I really do not like the Hasbro Disney Princess dolls, and I just feel the need to address why. So Hasbro started producing these god-awful abominations in like 2015 or something, maybe 2016. I don't remember the exact year, but they've always been shelf warming because they look like this. And it's just, I feel like their heads are way too big. I've never really liked Hasbro dolls. The only ones I've ever really collected were like the Equestria girls, but that was during my weird My Little Pony phase, which lasted for way too long because I still have an emotional attachment to my Equestria girl dolls, even though they're virtually worthless. So um, these ones, I just, they just don't, there's such a downgrade from like both dolls you can actually get at the Disney store and, like, the Mattel Disney dolls. Like, back when Mattel was on top of the world and stuff, in terms of toys at least, their dolls that they would produce for the Disney princesses looked so good. And I'm not just saying that because I grew up chewing on the hands of them. It's, like, I genuinely enjoyed having them. These, on the other hand, if I was younger, yeah, sure, I'd probably use it as a hammer or something when I'm playing with my Mega Bloks, but... I just, they don't look that good. <laughs> they really don't. Like, if I'm looking through these ones here, um, Merida, yeah, I would say Merida, Tiana, and Belle look all right. Everybody else, though, like, I don't know what they did to Ariel. Mulan's head is way too big for her body. Same with Cinderella. Snow White, she's struggling, and Yasmin... Did I just say Yasmin? I meant Jasmine. God. <laughs> God, the brat's brain rot is so bad. Um, 
But yeah, like, dolls like Yas- Jasmine and Rapunzel, their heads are way too big. And Pocahontas, I don't know what to say about her. Wasn't she a little darker in the movie? Did they, did they mess that up? Because I honestly don't remember. But, um, yeah. Just never really had an interest in these. I think they made Anna and Elsa too, because why wouldn't they? And they look just as bad. So, yeah. I would avoid these. I wouldn't touch these with a 20-foot pole. I do not enjoy. For the final toys that I have no interest in, we're stopping at five. It's these comfy squad Disney princess dolls. Like... I have a serious attachment to Ariel because she was, like, my number one favorite Disney princess growing up. I wanted red hair. I wanted to be just as pale as her, so I stopped going outside and I lost the natural tan that my skin had. Yeah, I don't know how I did that. And just seeing her like this, it doesn't look good. Really doesn't look good. (laughs) And not to mention that Wreck-It Ralph 2 was arguably the worst movie I've ever seen. Like, they just threw so many important things from the first movie out the window entirely. Because Ralph and Vanellope were literally out of their game for, like, well over 24 hours. And last I checked, Vanellope was the most popular racer in her game, and Ralph got his game popular again. I don't know. Point is, they totally threw everything out the window, and this Tiana doll is so ugly. The pajamas are cute. But the doll herself just looks so bad, because once again, this is Hasbro. Hasbro authentic product. I don't like Hasbro's Disney dolls, and I'm counting these as a separate entity, because they're kind of, like, the- they're under a line called Comfy Squad. So, you know. And I just feel like these were such a dumb idea. Like, they come with virtually nothing, so they're pretty cheap to make, I assume, but- God. Have you ever met someone who collects these? Like, someone who actually enjoys these? Because I I don't shame them for it. I just... I don't get it. (laughs) The bell in the middle looks like one of those hipster edits that were really popular back in, like, the 2012s, 2010s, or whatever. Did I just say 2012s? (laughs) What am I talking about? But yeah, it's just... You know... Yeah. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed because I just like talking about things I don't like. I think it's fun to do. <laughs> um, I'll definitely try to do more of these. Like you guys can ask me my opinion of dolls in like the comments and I'll try my best to respond. So yeah. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in my next one, which will hopefully finally be that Roxy review. I think I finally got her under control. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!